with caution. It seems like Mo versus uh, who was it? Mo versus Milkman has to wait a little bit longer because we're once again going over to a live match uh, from the Master Division as well. We just saw Duke Bones. Juke it out versus Cav. I hope they are okay with the fact that I don't have a delay on. Otherwise, I have to end the stream to do so. If, if not, if they don't want that, then we're just not going to stream it, I guess. We made it, yeah, it was clutch. <laughs> but it was it was necessary. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Oh. Alright, once again, I am normally not a fan of having specs at all. Uh, but if the players are okay with it, fine. You know. It's uh, not up to me. To have these usually i don't want to include them besides myself just to have the best experience possible for the players and you know the the other people can just watch the stream instead but we're playing on i like men's map i forgot the name elevation i play it against this against pink Todd on this map and i think this map plays really well very large map for sure but introducing forward commands into this map as well Always makes it interesting to see how players will play on this map. But we have on the bottom left, Mr. Despro, aka Widow Smells Bad. Uh, it, it's kind of weird to me that Despro knows how Widow smells. That also says something about their relationship. Um, you know, Raggle champion of the previous season in the Masters Division. And other, on the other side, we have Duke Bones. Like I said, he's got. Promoted from minions to masters this season, and we just saw him duking it out versus Cav. So let's see how he does against Despro. He has to face the same the same colors as he faced Cav, so maybe there will be some trauma for Duke Bones to, to get. We're not sure. This is a uh, very ballsy from Despro, but you know, luckily for him, he had a scout. So that will be denied. He actually went for double NG. Very interesting. But he now knows where most of the army from Duke Bones was. Luckily for him, Duke Bones is also going War Factory first. So... Yeah, that's gonna be good for Despro. That means he can take this oil as well. That means he can also take the Calm Center. Granted... He's going to lose it as fast, maybe. Not entirely sure. He also went for War Factory first. And double NG. Um, that means he might actually stall. Also, he went for a light vehicle. He is definitely going to stall. Just a little bit. Not that much. It's okay. He did get 200 bucks from getting those two oils at the same time. Yeah, he's actually... Dugbo is playing very passive. He's letting... Um, Despero get away with a lot of stuff. Now Despero has the Ranger as well, so that means one Engineer is going to be very mobile on this map, which is really good. I'm assuming he's going to go for that comm center next. And he gets the comm center over there too. He's going to be like, wait, what? How did that even happen? Regardless, um... This pro will not be able to prevent that from happening. He might be able to snipe the oil, but he's going to go for the forward command. And that is because he definitely got some. Oh, he sees the army. Yeah, he sees the army because of the comm center. And he also saw the rifles and the NG sitting next to the oil. So that's why he's going for the forward command. Really good movement here, because even though if yeah, Duke Bones didn't even have a static defense, so he can't even stop it. Despro is building a turret in advance. He knows the three light tanks are coming. And now Despro is actually in a pretty good spot. Because he has access to two extra ore patches. 
and a forward command as well. So that means he could build a Rax here. He can fully produce from this side and be a big threat to the main base of Duke Bones. Duke Bones is going to ignore the forward command. And he's going straight for the main base. But I'm not sure if he realizes that he got spotted. So Despro taking precautions. He's got a turret ready to go. He's got a ton of rockets. Ready to take out this threat. And yeah. Already this is looking pretty grim for Duke Bones. Even considering the fact that almost no engagement has taken place so far in this game. And already... It is looking bad. Especially with even giving up that forward command. Jubon is also not trying to go for it. In fact, he's going to try out and take the Ranger. But the reactions from Despero are there. He should be able to keep it safe. He's going to use the road to get away. There's the engagement of the light tanks. But just like that, Jubon's already retreating. Because he knew that he can't make anything happen. He's going to check the ore patch. To see if there's already an expansion in place. Very standard play from uh, this pro. But so far everything's working out for him. The only difference is Duke Bones has an extra racks up. Well, not anymore. A little bit of a faster expansion for this pro. Um, but he's gonna lose a ton of army value here Unless they get away with it. Oh, yeah, the sheer speed Is making them get away. Well, at least two are Eco slide is in place Yeah, Desper is looking good in terms of uh, eco Ah, But the forward command has been retaken Unfortunately, Desper could not prevent it but even though with the army value, you should be able to deal with that. In the meantime, Duke Bones is um, reinforcing in the bottom. Try to take the forward command over here because I did see an engineer, I think. But it got taken out. Oh, he loses the ranger as well. And I, I think that was the ranger that had an engineer in it still. So. Oh, wait. Main, wait is that the main MCV? Oh. I'm not sure if I like that. I'm not sure if I like that. In the meantime, Despero is going to take out this forward command. To prevent Duke Bones from getting more value out of that. But Duke Bones over here with a good attack. And I think he should... Yeah, he's going to be able to break through. Or is he though? Another pillbox. Tank goes down. No, Dispro is gonna keep it safe. No harvesters are being harmed. No forward command is going to be taken out. Flank here from Dispro as well, but Duke Bones is ready. However, his harvesters are doing some soaking. And talking about soaking, two of them are going to go down just like that. That was definitely worth for Dispro there. Big blow. This pro pushing his luck. He has a 5k to 6k lead as well. He's pushing forward in the middle. He's gonna flank over here. That might be another harvester going down. It definitely will be. And Duke Bose calls the GG. First game has been played. Very aggressive play so far from uh from this pro. But you know, like Duke Bones did delay himself a little bit. He went for an overinvestment in light tanks. It was not a bad call, but, you know, the fact that Dispro actually went for double engineer on this map, um, being able to take that comm cinder very early on, that he was ready for everything that Duke Bones threw at him, and that's why Dispro could just sit back, play the economy game, and from there on out, he just snowballed.
All right, Duke Bones is going to pick Abundland, I think. Lots of low risk, high reward plays. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, his double NG strat was a little bit high risk, high reward. But he was just lucky that there was no single scout from Duke Bones at neither the oil or the comm center. So he got away with that. And I feel from there on out, he just snowballed. He had good ranger play. Um, yeah. Not much that Despero actually did wrong, in my opinion, obviously. I feel like Jukebone still made the mistake. Like, it's unfortunate for him that the triple light thing got scouted. Obviously, he was not ready for that communication center to be um, to being captured already. Because otherwise, those triple light tanks might have been really good. They might have been super good. But anyways, what's done has been done. We are moving on to the second game. And we have an allied mirror on our hands. We're playing on uh, Assault, is this right? Yeah, yeah, Assault. Um, huh. This map feels... Familiar, somehow. I wonder why that is. Huh. I'm not sure what this reminds me of, but... It's interesting to see how this will play out. Uh, once again, we got Despro in the top left, and we've got Duke Bones in the bottom right. Duke Bones is going for so something very, very peculiar. He's going for Rack Skip into Double Ref. What? That's gonna give him a big, big eco boost, but I'm not entirely sure if that is actually going to help him. Is he going to go for the racks now or not? What? Yeah, he needs the racks. Very, very interesting play here. The Raxin is ready though, so he can just uh, make a pillbox. But yeah, making uh, rifles is not gonna help him, except it's gonna cost him money. He's also low power. Pillbox takes even longer now. He sold the ref, that's a good idea. At least he got good value from that. Oh. See, Despero did the same thing, but he did, just did double ref. Instead of making war, uh, war Factory, he went for Raider Dome. So, yeah. Interesting to see. It's a big delay of War Factory for this bro, though. But he should be able to afford it. I'm not sure if he can afford the AA gun as well. Alright, so double Blackhawk into an AA gun, and now he's going for the War Factor after Triple Rift, that makes sense. However, I feel like Tubos might have a little bit more cash to spend. His eco is going to be a little bit poor as well because of the Rift cell. And Dugbones, yeah, it seems like Dugbones did 
steal so I wouldn't say steal, but he did watch Despro's play, it seems, because he had the exact sort of the exact same build order, but he wanted to be a little bit more greedy and go for the two refineries first. So we could get some more Blackhawks later on. Let's see how this will work out. This bro's just kind of chill in his base. Question is, if is he going to go for a riff or is he going to go for War Factory? Does he want a veterancy or does he want? The cash. Obviously, if he goes for the cash, it's a poor investment. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, he's going for the infantry. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh! Crazy. Yeah, I'm now this is looking this is looking bad. Cuz Despro already has the SD. He did he did went for his MCV um you know move out, but that actually it doesn't matter. He still has enough starting ore. He now can enjoy an other double patch and at the same time that means he's going to be able to build medium tanks from the start. And those medium tanks are going to be exactly what he needs. Everyone is doing the exact same thing, but he's just he's just a lot slower right now because of everything that happened. Uh, well, that's the third black cock already. Wait, those are only those are only medics and rockets. What? Oh yeah, this is over. Yep, Jigbons calls the GG. This pro took him out just like that. It's unfortunate. Jigbons had a good idea, but the execution was a little bit off. And you know, going for a rack skip into two refineries is kind of um, it's kind of a little bit too much greed, if I would say so.